This video shows you how to replace the motor belt for the job site saw. Take care to use the official saw stop belt only. Saw stop belts dissipate static and are specially designed to work with the saw stop safety system. Turn off the saw and then remove the lockout key. Unplug the saw. Set the tilt to 45 degrees and then lower the blade to the lower elevation limit. Remove the fence and any loose items from the saw. Wind the cord. Use the 5mm hex key and the 13mm wrench to remove the four bolts that attach the saw to the cart. With the help of an assistant, lift the saw off the cart. Place the saw so that it's upside down on a flat surface. Remove the 15 Phillips screws that attach the cabinet base to the cabinet. Use a magnetized screwdriver or magnet to lift the screws out. Start with the screw that's just to the left of the indentation for the counterbalance spring. Remove each screw, working around the base counterclockwise. There's a little pressure from the counterbalance spring, and the base will spring upwards when you remove the final screw. Remove the base. You should hear the counterbalance spring pivot and fall. This is normal. Remove this screw from the motor housing. This is the one located directly under where the power cord enters the housing. Remove the four motor mount cap screws. First, swing the counterbalance spring out of the way. The belt has the cap screws under tension. The tension will release as you remove the cap screws. Remove the old belt and then set the motor on end. Use the M5 by 50 millimeter cap screw that was included with the belt to attach the arbor nut wrench to the motor plate. Hand tighten the cap screw. Make sure the wrench is still free to pivot. You'll use the arbor nut wrench as a temporary lever when you install the new belt. Place the new belt over the arbor pulley and the retraction bolt. Place the motor.
make sure the motor pulley is on the inside of the belt. Hook the belt with the motor pulley. Reinstall one of the motor mount cap screws in this location. This cap screw will serve as a pivot when you tighten the belt. Leave the cap screw as seated but loose. Do not yet tighten. Make sure the belt is correctly seated. All the grooves in the pulleys should be covered by all the ribs on the belt. Pull the arbor nut wrench to put tension on the belt and align the motor mounting holes. Install another cap screw. Install the remaining two cap screws. Remove the arbor nut wrench. Reinstall the motor housing cap screw. Make sure all the cap screws are tight. Next, Seat the cabinet base on the cabinet. Tilt the cabinet base just enough so you can access the counterbalance spring. Pivot and hold the spring so it's pointing up. The end of the spring fits into this indentation inside the cabinet base. Align the spring and indentation as you lower the base onto the cabinet. Press the base down and hold. Reinstall the cabinet base screws starting with the screw closest to the indentation. Do not over tighten the screws. If using a power driver, make sure the torque is set to no more than mid-range to avoid stripping the screws. Place the saw on the cart. Finally, reinstall the four bolts. Purchase the belt and other parts at our online parts store. Go to www.sawstop.com forward slash parts. You have learned how to replace the belt for the job site saw. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, contact Sawstop Service.